How's it going, gentlemen? This is Killstreak Gaming Channel. In Battlefield News today, we got some interesting rumors ahead. It appears that EA Games will introduce a brand new Battlefield title at the E3, the Electronic Entertainment Expo in Los Angeles. Are we talking about Battlefield 5 or are we talking Bad Company number 3? Well, stick around with us because we got some more Battlefield news in the future. We'll keep you updated. Don't worry about that one. And this is kind of an interesting one indeed. I, I, I don't even I don't even know should I root for BF5 or Bad Company. So what do you think, Battlefield 5 or Bad Company numero 3? Anyway, now on table today we got MTAR21, a carbine feature in China Rising Expansion Pack, and it's unlocked via the assignment called Multi Talent. Now all you need to do is make one kill with the assault rifle, one with a light machine gun, one with a sniper rifle, and one grenade kill, all in a single round. That can be a bit tricky to achieve, but playing a high tickets conquest large should give you enough time to unlock it and get all the kills done. Now let's look at the stats and how they do well in action. The maximum damage is 25, which counts for 4 shots to kill at a very close range, and it slowly drops down to 50 damage minimum, which counts for 7 shots to take down your enemy, standard damage model for most carabines available in the game. First thing you'll notice is a rate of fire gone nuts at 900 rounds per minute. It's the fastest firing carabine. You'll literally melt your enemies at a close to medium range, they won't know what hit them, but you'll definitely have issues while hitting your enemies at longer ranges. The magazine size carries up to 31 bullets, so you'll burn through the magazine quickly enough and you'll definitely reload often. The reload time is a bit slow, you'll reload at 2.4 seconds if you leave at least one bullet left in a magazine, 3 seconds empty handed. This can get you into trouble since you'll definitely reload a lot and every millisecond in battlefield counts, so stay sharp and leave that one bullet in your magazine. Anytime, it could be a lifesaver. The muzzle velocity goes up to 540 meters per second. Covering the carabine category, it's one of the fastest ones. It's useful in every combat situation, and if you attach a suppressor on as a barrel attachment, it will drop down at 310 meters per second, but you will not pop up on a minimap, once again giving you stealth, and as always, a prepared element of surprise. Now let's equip this thing! The muzzle brake could be useful as a barrel attachment, it will reduce the vertical recoil drastically and this thing is unlocked after just 40 kills. The stubby grip could be useful as an underbarrel attachment, it will reduce the bullet spread making your shots more accurate and concentrated and this thing is unlocked after 70 kills. Laser sight will greatly increase your hip fire accuracy which is very useful in close combat engagements and especially when using the NTR which melts down folks in those situations. If you like to shoot while moving, the ergo grip is the most fitting one for you. It will decrease the bullet spread while shooting on a move and it could be very useful in playing with that fast paced team deathmatch mode. The iris sights at the beginning are not quite visible when shooting and after 10 kills you'll get your hands on a reflex red dot sight. Overall, if you're a fan of Coyote or Cobra, you'll unlock them in battle packs. It's worth if you really like this weapon. Overall, what can we say about MTAR? You'll have a lot of fun using it, it's a great carabine, it destroys people at a close to medium range, and in those tight corners of Metro and Locker, you should definitely try to avoid long range engagements since you'll lose almost every battle out there because of the fast rate of fire and the minimum damage. If you still haven't unlocked it, give it a go. MTR first appeared in Battlefield 3 Close Quarters Expansion Pack and it will have the very similar stats as it has now in Battlefield 4. Let us know in the comment section below which weapon would you like for us to review next. We use the weapon statistics from the website called Synthic.com. It's a website where you can compare all weapons available in Battlefield 4 as well as the attachments and how they impact the weapon statistics. Thanks for sticking around with us, hope you enjoyed this video, make sure you watch this in 1080p quality. More videos from Battlefield and many other games are coming up so make sure you check those out as well as our other weapon reviews, and of course subscribe if you like the content. Leave your feedback and opinions of MTR21 and Battlefield 4 in general here on our YouTube page as well as our Facebook page at Killstreak Gaming. We will look them up and be happy to answer them. This is Killstreak Gaming, until next time, take care.